Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here coming to you live. Uh, so we are on Free Code Camp uh, back-end web development. We are on start a Node.js server. So this is going to be more of Node school. And again, um, if you haven't gotten to the point where you're at, um, you know, you're ready to start with step 15, then go ahead and work through this. I'm not going to work through everything. I'm doing this locally. So I'm just going to run npm install um, learn new node and so it's global so that I can use it as a node module on my local workspace local development environment whatever you want to call it uh, so once you get to 15 you know pause the video and then come back so we're gonna do all of this locally so I'm gonna close this down right here I'm gonna open up my uh, terminal bash and uh, what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna come in here and uh, I'm gonna change directory into my desktop I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make a directory, and I'm gonna call it uh, Learn U Node, um, and then from there, I'm gonna change directory into there, and I'm gonna create our uh, program.js file that we'll be using this whole time. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so that we can sort of see it, um, and then from there, guys, I'm gonna open this up with Sublime. So let's go ahead and open that up and let's start. Uh, let's go ahead and actually start the program, learn new node. So, real quick, just to let you guys know, um, well, I guess I closed it, never mind. Uh, so, we'll be going up to, let me start this up, learn new node. Make that a little bit smaller, learn new node. And so, we'll be going up to uh, HTTP client in this video. So, we'll start out with hello world, just sort of getting the hang of node. So you can sort of see this interface. It's pretty minimalist, but it's cool. So it says, write a program that prints the text. Hello world to the console. So stand out. Um, so again, we're just going to call it program.js. Inside of here, we're going to say console.log. Hello world. And I'm going to go ahead and run this with learn you node. Verify. And then the name of the file, program.js. So let's go ahead and do that. And hello world. Oh, sorry. We need it all capsed. Hello world, we run this again, and what is it wrong? Oh, we don't need the exclamation mark. Okay, cool. So if you get it right, it'll give you a green check, and then it should say completed when you go back to, uh, let me clear this out. When you go back to learn your node, it should say completed. So that's hello world. Let's go on to baby steps. And uh, what we're gonna do here is write a program that accepts one or more arguments as command line arguments and prints the sum of those numbers to the console. So Node.js comes with a global variable uh, called process, and one of proce processes, processes methods or uh, members attached to that object is called the argument variables. And um, so it's, it's an array that contains information about the command line. Okay, so, um, so usually, like it says here, uh, the very first argument is, is Node, okay, and then after that, um, you know, you get information about the directory you're in, and then after that, we're going to get numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and build this out, right? So we're going to say, uh, we're going to create a sum variable, we'll just say let sum equals zero, and then we're going to loop through our arguments. Okay, so just a simple for loop. So if for var i equals zero, i is less than process dot argv um, dot length i plus plus, and we're going to do a simple check here. We're going to say if parse int, if, if this is successful, this is like try parse in C sharp, um, if this is successful on the process.argv of i, um, then what do we want to do here, guys? Then we want to do sum plus or equal to, and we still have to parse it, so we have to convert, coerce it to a number, process.argv i, and then finally at the very end, guys, we're going to go down here and console.log the sum that we get back from the command line arguments. Let's go ahead and try this out. Let me clear this and let's see what we get. Awesome. So we got 492 and they expected 492 and you can sort of see their solution as well. They they coerced it with the number object or the number constructor. Okay, so um, cool guys. That's that and let's go on to my first IO. Okay, so that means input output. We're going to read data from the file system. So node comes actually with a built-in um, file system core module. That's it. That's like a global. We just have to require it. Um, 
And what this wants us to do is read the data from the file coming in, which is going to be, uh, let me make sure I can find this. It, it's going to be uh, process.arg v2. Remember, that's the file name. And we're going to read it. We're going to read it synchronously here. So what that means is we're going to know exactly you know, when we're getting the data back. And um, we're going to split it um, on the line breaks and return the length. So let's go ahead and try that out. First, we're going to bring in the file system. We'll say require fs. Okay. Then we're going to create this buffer variable. And we're going to say let buffer equal fs dot read sync read sync file. Okay. And what that's going to take is it's going to take this path. So if our path is going to be equal process dot argv two, and we're going to say read the path and uh, also, we want to bring it into UTF-8, which just means give us back that data already, um, you know, decoded into human readable format, uh, or else we'd have to convert it from a lot of, you know, numbers and weird strings. So um, let's go ahead and actually just look at what we're getting back from this buffer object. So let's go ahead and run this. Verify program.js, and what does it say? fs.read sync file is not a function. Uh, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Fs dot read file sync. My bad. Read file sync. I can be honest. I don't do this that much. Read files, but okay. So we see we get all this text back. That's cool. Now let's return this in one line. So we're going to call. Um, let's call two string on it. Well, let's see. Is it actually a string right now? Right, let me see. Let me just look at what it is right now. I think it's an object, but let me just see. Type of it's a string. No, it's a string. Okay, so we'll do we'll do buffer dot split. We want to split on the line breaks, so do that. A tab or slash n. And then we want dot length minus one to get the actual length of it. Let's try this out again. Okay, cool. So we succeeded in that. And you can sort of see their solution, right? They uh, required the file system read the file synchronously, and then from there, uh, what they did was uh, they got the lines. I don't know why they needed to call two string on it. Um, oh, right, because we, we passed the UTF-8. That's what that's saying. Um, so I guess I can show it to you. So you can pass UTF-8, so that's why it already brings it back to a string. And uh, they split it, and they got the length minus one. So very cool. Uh, let's go back in here and... Uh, Let's do learn new node. Let's go on to my first async IO. So asynchronous programming is we can free up resources, you know, by not hogging um, sort of the CPU of our program or uh, the the resources of our web application. And by doing by doing that, you know, we can sort of operate uh, like a fast food chain. And that you know, you go up and you you get a number, right? But they can keep serving other people as opposed to a uh, synchronous line where it's uh you know it's almost like a stack right it's it's uh the first one goes the first one it's, it's a line that builds up and no one is going to move anywhere until that first person you know gets gets uh their order fulfilled or completed okay so the only difference here right is um we're going to call this uh, let me see right so um we're, we're going to uh we're going to get a, in the style of node we're going to get a callback when the data has come and let me make sure read file sync um, this is just going to be read file okay so let's try that we're still going to keep our path but we're going to go fs dot read file so this is a synchronous method most of nodes methods are we're going to pass it the path and then the second method we're going to pass it is a callback what to do when this data comes back so this is going to be a function okay um, it's going to take in two arguments. It's going to take in an error, and it's going to take in the files that we get back. So in the style of node, we're going to say, if there's an error, then we just want to return with the error. Okay. Else, what do we want to do? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to return with files.toString, just to make sure that we're going to split, again, on this line break, and then we're going to give it the length minus 1, let me just log this out because they don't actually want to return. They want to log it out. So let me do that. Make sure we're good to go. So uh, let's go ahead and run this code. 
and make sure we got it right. Okay, cool. So we, we did do that right. Um, the only thing that they did differently is um, you can pass it, you know, before the callback. We can pass the UTF-8 instead of having to do two string on it. So just different variation. Okay, cool. So let's go back here and we're going to go learn new node. Okay, so uh, we're now on filtered LS. Okay, so what this means right here is we're going to sort of do what we've done uh, before, but we're going to filter on uh, the ending of the file name. Okay, so uh, this is going to be instead of process.arg variable 2, this file name is going to be process.arg variable 3, uh, argv3, and uh, all it wants us to do is return back with a you know, sort of specific file name. So we're going to filter our data. So let's go ahead and try that out. Okay. So um, we can keep this right. And now what we want to do is we're going to say var filtered. Actually, I'm going to change this to let filtered in the style VS6. And we're going to say files.filter. And this is going to, you know, get, uh, perform this operation on each member of the array. And with that, we're going to say if. Uh, or no, because it's a filter, we're going to do return v dot split. This is just my solution. I'm splitting on the dot because that denotes a file name. And then we're going to get one, which will be the dot md or dot text. It's going to be equal to process dot argv3 because that's the extension name. Again, you could say var ext or sorry, let ext equal process dot argv3. And we'll just compare this uh, against. Um, ext and then at the very end we'll see we'll say filtered dot for each this gives us a callback function we'll say f and uh, all we'll say is console.log f so let's make sure we got this right guys and uh, let's try this out okay so what what am I doing wrong let me see um, submission results did not match expected okay so filtered dot for each okay mm. Let me see. Make sure I'm actually getting what we want. Let me log out filtered. Okay, let me try this one more time. So we're not getting anything back. Let me see. Um, oh, right. I'm, I'm performing the wrong method. Sorry. It's read, um, read directory. So let me change this real quick. And let me see. So it's going to be... Um, Make sure I got this right. Okay. Oh, read actor takes a path name as its first argument and a callback. Okay, so we got to change this actually to read um, directory path function. And let's go ahead and try and run this code one more time. Make sure we're getting what we want. Okay, so now we're getting it's not equal to filter dot for each. Oh, yeah, let me get rid of that. And then we should be good to go. All right, cool. So we did get that right. You can sort of see their variation compared to mine. They added the extension and the process argument variable three. I feel like mine's a little more, a little bit more succinct, uh, concise. But you know, they they incorporated this path variable. Uh, I mean, I, I guess if you don't know too much like functional programming, this might you know be a little bit too much. Um, but I think it's pretty understandable what I did. So if you're confused, though, you can go ahead and look at that. <coughs> okay, so let's go back to learning node. I'm going to do this HTTP client. And I think in this next video, we'll move back to um, we'll move back to uh, make it modular because that one's kind of uh, it's more of like a setup headache, but we, we might try it. So let's do HTTP client real quick. All we want to do basically is just make a request to the URL that's coming in and uh, look at the data that we're going to get back and um, and just uh, what do we want to do we just want to log it out so let's, let's try this guys what we need to do is create is grab the local HTTP variable and the way this works guys is we can do uh, set var URL we'll do let URL and we're going to set that equal to process dot argv um, let me see which one is it second argument I think it's two. Yeah. So we're, we're going to do uh, HTTP. Um, what is it? HTTP dot get URL. And then the second argument is going to be a callback. 
which is gonna which is http.get url and this is going to be a function we're going to call this response and it's going to pass in some data the way this works is we have methods on this response object so sort of like event listeners and we're so we're going to say when response dot on data when it gets some data um, it's a function which takes in data then uh, we're going to console.log the data so let me see if let me get this to work and then I will explain it to you guys uh, so what is it saying response dot on is not a function uh, response dot on data let me make sure I've got this right um, it should be like get let me look back real quick so function callback response okay function I did that wrong sorry function callback response and let me run this one more time for you guys so that's working but we actually need to convert this to a string and let me try that one more time there we go so um, looks like they did it a little bit differently they just set the encoding and they also checked for the error method as well but uh, the, so the way this works guys is we require our HTTP global from node uh, we got we have our URL then we make a git request where the first um, where the first parameter is the URL that we're getting second is going to be a callback uh, what happens after that data has come back and so it has various event listeners and this first one is response to on data function data we can also write the response dot on error a function error and then you can console dot log error you know but that's not gonna uh, obviously mess up anything that we we have because you know we're not getting an error if we didn't have like if we had urls i think we might get the error let me see uh urls is undefined uh, yeah i don't even think we're gonna reach that part but um and then uh so all this is doing right this is passing us back a response object and then we can call this on method which is because it's asynchronous we don't know when we're going to get this data back exactly and then once we get it back you know so there's this is just a lot of callbacks going on this is going to pass us another like data object and then we're going to call two string on it but you know if there's an error we can handle that as well uh, so it kind of reminds you of like an observable sequence when you have that on next, on completed, and on air. Um, I think I'm going to do this. Uh, the uh, let me see real quick. I think I'm going to do uh, the make it modular in the next one, just because that's kind of a pain. Uh, but we'll get to that, and so we'll do next next video. Hold me to it. We'll do make it modular. We'll do HTTP collect juggling async and time server so we'll go up to time server and then in the third video we'll do http file server http uppercaser and http json api server so that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like comment give it a thumbs up please subscribe and support the channel it means a lot so thanks for watching guys and have a great day take care